We're gonna do monk, no cash. Which means we're gonna do the necro stuff. T1, Act 2 Barney, as usual. Get to level 18. Then we cast a level 60 weapon. Get to level 18 first, Arcade Blacksmith to level 5, and then do the bounties. The main class and level 35 staff. I could try it. I might just try it. I'm just gonna start leveling our Necro. We go straight to the cube. In the next season, we would almost guaranteed be level 18 of that. Because the Massacre Shakes, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be 18 now, but I'm gonna try. Then we do two boss bounties for the diamonds. And then we start our Monk with a level 35 weapon. And do the T1 Act 2 bounty run. Which should be very easy. And then we get our level 60 weapon. And then we do one temple run. Or uh, two temple runs. And then we get our level 70 weapon. And we keep blasting until level 70. At 70, we're gonna do the remaining bounty acts. On like a low difficulty. And then we try to get our Hades gift. And then we try to get GR70 done. So that's the plan. Good enough. Okay, let's start a timer. Okay, I'm really weak now. It might not be such a bad idea to just like drop the massacre here and get the enchantress weapon. I think I'm actually gonna do that. Probably gonna be 11 now. Yes, let's do it. I get the life region too. I'm not sure if it would have enough gold to actually. What? Yeah, the DC is because I clicked too much on your loading screen. I tried to uh, get the Templar skill, and this just deceives you. Because <laughs> I clicked like five times. Amazing. Oh, well, we go again, I guess. Alright. That was five minutes until 11, that's pretty nice. Let's see if we can re replicate this. We're doing Necro to 18 to unlock the no level requirements. Rings at 5, 6. Yeah, but I'm not sure if I have to go for it. Can we go again? I didn't lose my massacre until the very end, so that was kind of nice. We were like nine and a half when we reached 11 of that with 150 massacre in floor 2, so let's remember this. Yeah, power, unlock, boom. Season ends in five days. You can check how much gold we have. We have 660k and 141. See how much we get. Let's add a uh, pet here to pick up some gold. We can check if we can buy the ring, maybe. Protection Shrine. Oh. Don't let me click it, I guess. Okay, hit the stairs there, because Bones Bay doesn't go up enough. The trajectory. Is this for two already? Oh, this is very early. What the hell? Alright then. It's like immediately found us. Let's take the heal. We do have the rune. And we don't have this rune. That's a bit sad. Just like two monsters. We get blood and marrow. This would be kind of helpful actually. Oh, let's see if we can continue here at level six. Good. 
Man, this guy's like mega tanky suddenly again. Okay, we got Light of Marrow and a Massacre. Let's go. Problem is, we're weak. That was it. Nothing. This is a bad run. We had a pretty good start here with the enchantment weapon and stuff, and now nothing. But maybe let's try to get to 11 after this. And then we just do like a little bit of Temple of the Firstborn. Get the stuff, and then it's gonna be easy peasy. I just pressed a potion, man. It didn't go through. Made a 10. So now it's pretty awful. Just start again a massacre. Yeah, I could have had a nice run here, actually. Everything was so nice. This is awful. Five minutes, man. I mean, you get a cube in five minutes, it's kind of nice. But you're missing a level and the staff, so let's just go here a bit. And then you get your staff and just go like 12 and 2 or something, I guess. But yeah, realistically, it would be 18 now. Or close to it, at least. So we could always start farming the boss bounties. Boon spikes, straight through the wall. Oh wait, I'm actually in a blob already. What am I doing here? Lower it when you go to the second map. Are you doing hardcore rules if you don't double difficulty? But yeah, technically that's doable. Kangaroos? It's a stuff to hurt me, thank you, man. Um, let's do like Torment 2, that should be quite possible. Deserved. <laughs> let's just start different party. Uh, I guess he would do the cube anyway, but maybe some people will just stop blasting his people. One guy goes to the cube, and they can, you know, one guy, like the support Bob, who has no chance of getting real massacre bonuses anyway. He just uh, forfeit some XP and just get carried by the rest of the team. And you just have this guy run to the cube while everyone else just blasts here, or he just goes like directly to a cursed chest leveling. Like this.
Problem is we have Magda in this game and this Tom 2 game. Just set hardcore rules, so no change in difficulty. F. Let's get Magda again. I tried saving the cursed chest once. And he just despawned when I went back there at high level. Yeah, we got two of them actually. Too bad. Maybe it despawned because I failed it. I'm not sure actually, but I don't think so. Oh, there's nothing here. Feels bad. Yeah, two chests, man. Could have kept one just for science. Sub 130 without cash, that's pretty good. I was on a cursed chest, he failed to kill before 30 seconds. So I could have actually just kept these two chests here and get like all the diamonds right there. Is that possible? I did it once in a bounty run and I came back and there was no chest. I know that the chest disappears when you fail, but I was very surprised when it happens and I knew that already that the chest has despawned, so either I didn't realize I was failing it. Or there's something else going on. Pretty nice to stun these guys. A bit. Well, it's still like 10 minutes right now. It was a slow run this time. We lost the massacre like three times. And again. I mean, in a real run, you would not be expected to have the cursed chest ready here, close to the waypoint anyway. Or even, like, double chested for that matter, like, this is almost not happening, right? Yeah, this is, like, the perfect scenario, actually. If you can actually save it until level 18 and go there and loot it... That's insane. Save, like, two boss runs. But yeah, I mean, for testing purposes, I'm not doing that at all, so... But if I get this in the... Uh, Live season, I will definitely try. God damn it. Yeah, I still don't wish I'm free, I'm too busy. Head him on away. It's gonna be like some 15 minute setup. Very slow one. And a Winster. Okay, got Mac done. Hello, Evie.
Gaan we even naar dat. Diamonds, free diamonds even. <laughs> And loot. Another boss girl. Soul and core. Leveling season 8 with. What? Passive? It's funny with the golems just like popping there. Okay. So that's our two boss kills. That's 14 minutes. Alright. Not great. Now we go on the monk. We actually have really nice items here now for the Mineko. It's kind of sad. Now we don't need to do any of this. Let's throw this in here. So. A level 35 weapon you set is what we have. Sure, let's try it. Do a T1. Hack to Barney. Near death experience. I will play hardcore regularly, but I will probably try to do the 150 on the first stream, and if that works well, we will also try the Nochi Death Hardcore a Paragon 1K thing for the event. Uh, level 35. He's a 32, I guess you take that one. And I cannot wear it. Okay. What to do now? It's a 103 to 149. Can we imitate this somehow? Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna farm another gem of now for this. So this is a uh, 4260. Um, this is 160 damage. That's too much. And I deleted most of my other gems, right? So like something else. What exactly do I unlock here? So this is a Grandmaster Greatsword. What about Axe? Grandmaster Axe is 33. Maze doesn't have anything. So I guess we take the Axe because it's a little higher. Staff. Grandmaster War Staff. There cannot be decks. Can I even wear this? I can. Okay. Actually, let's see the difference. 167. Looks good, actually. What about the axe? Okay, I have another idea. What about... Maze. So 18. What about Axe? Civil 5. And it has 1.3 APS instead of 1.1, so it's a bit faster than it should be. But it has 7 to 12 damage, and the staff here has 137 to 198. 
so that's very comparable. It's just faster. So instead of just easing it, I'm gonna do this now. Should be fine. Yeah, 220 DPS. But you also don't have the stats. So actually the stuff might be... I also have to do this, I guess. Actually, maybe the starter weapon is actually the play. It's very slow as well. It's 1.2. Let's do this. 195. We're still lacking a lot of DPS, actually. Look at this. Plus 120%. Because of the missing decks. So actually, we don't have to be that careful of it. Start the season by running full T6 bounty run. We'll get zero plants. You will get blacksmith plants, but not jeweler plants. Still plus 85% on DPS. Okay. Can we do anything else? I guess you can still add something like at least 50 decks or something. How's that? So one click. And here, one, two, three. Plus 50% DPS still. Two clicks. Plus 30%. Three clicks. Plus 20%. Oh wait, I'm stupid actually, because it's, it's obviously still more damage. Okay, we do this and this. I think this is acceptable. So we don't care about this or this or this. Or this. Let's put this here as a reference. A damn way. Damn long way, yes. Okay, so since we don't have the level 35 stuff, Gem of East, I'm gonna do this now with a few points in Paragon, which is probably kind of accurate. And let's do the Act 2 run. The question is, do we snapshot stuff at level 1 now or not? I guess not, right? We should be like blasting through this. I think it should be fine. So we just go straight up to the bounties. And then after this bounty run, we have to DB and we get the level 60 weapon. Then we do two temple of the first one runs. We get our level 70 weapon, and then we slowly add more items. Let's go. Okay, let's try it. And I forgot to get my Templar. 378.84 DPS, guys. Oh, big weapon here. They do one damage to me. Christmas, do we kill stuff on the way? Nah, it's just torn one, right? We don't really care. We just run. Maybe we kill these elites here a bit. Roundhouse kick. Pow. But realistically, I don't think you actually want to do like much here. Yeah, true. Usually you would also have all the necro gear equipped now. So I'm lacking stats anyway. You need a full act cash on Tom 1, yes. I mean, technically, you could even go higher Tom. So maybe like Tom 1 is actually too low, and I could actually do this on like Tom 2, Tom 3, whatever. It's a 35 weapon. Yeah, I'm basically two showing it was. Should get some game really fast though, that's fine. I know that like I think the T1 cash is something like 160 or 180k gold and the T6 cash is like 640. So T2 you get like 200 something I guess. T3 like 300. Somewhere around there I guess. I wonder if I can like just kill these guys and TP out. So I'm not clicking it. This might be a huge mistake. And there's more stuff coming out. Yeah, should be fine. I 
I'm gonna get to level 9 though for dash. I think 9, nine is dash. That would be helpful. Okay, I can't kill the goblin, I guess. T2 is 200k. I don't get my damage. Probably no T2 for us. We're almost nine, actually. I don't know if should be better than the kick. Probably not. Kick is kind of nice. What do I mean, Fasa? Like some raid, man. Again. <laughs> what are we doing? Massive indeed, man. Oh, how have you been? What have you been doing? Cosmic too. Blue post doesn't say it's Friday. I did link the wrong thing in the command. How's the monk leveling today? Um, well, we just got started here. With a relatively bad start, actually, but we just keep going. I wanna go until I was unlocked with POJ. It's not like any real big items. I mean, we need the Daibo, okay, we need monk now. But aside from this, we don't really need much, right? We can make another one monk to gamble the bracer, easy peasy. Should be relatively easy to do this on a monk, I think. Should be fast as well. Problem is, we have melee. It might be too squishy. Watch. That's no waiting room. I mean, to be fair, they are really taking their sweet time. I mean, I thought we get the patch notes like, you know, two months ago. Like, I, at some point, I was like, yeah, it has to be now, you know. If they want to get out the patch and the season start before Christmas, it has to be now. So, like, somewhere in, like, you know, end of November or something, I was like, okay, patch notes, wedding room now. <laughs> yeah, how wrong I was. <laughs> Oh, likely it's the season starts on 24? Uh, very likely. Actually, I should not be running with a shield, I guess. It's cheating. Oh, spirit regeneration, man. Fleet footed while they add it, and that's Palm. Alright. I was just Palm and everything dies, so it's fine.
So around now would be the time when we are done with the Necro, with the tier 1 bounty run. And we're level 18 we have, and we start the Monk. So actually I'm not sure if it's faster. Okay, we had a relatively slow start with the Necro this time. And we're almost done with this bounty run. I guess it's at, at very least it's like maybe even. It doesn't really seem like really better to me. Like what I'm doing here. Save to the one bounty. Which is the fast one though. Maybe it can be better, but I don't think it really makes a difference. Yeah, the beach is actually kind of nice generator. We can start balance at T6, level 1 monk. Yeah, we're actually like moving away from this bounty strat again. Seems like we just don't get enough jewel or plants. So maybe the play is to simply do them at level. 70 for the most part, just like one now, one run now, and then just last temple of the first born, then do the bounties. Problem is, you're gonna end up with only three bounty mats of each act instead of uh, six, because you're gonna do it on normal, I guess, at level 70, or like close to 70, maybe like at level 67 or 66 or something. You're gonna start the bounty run. Dying. Breath of Heaven, save me. Okay, one downside of the scenario is it doesn't teleport me around. Yeah, apparently jewelry of SPs drop at 61, but I'm not sure if this I confirmed now or not. The problem is that even if they do, you don't really get them very reliably. You don't get like multiple ones. So the only option option you have is to buy the recipes from Squirt. But for this you need a few million gold as well. Last Wolf, Hedder Man, thank you so much. For the two years. <laughs> also good luck, man. Okay, now we turn this in. We craft our level 60 sword, so we're gonna uh, drop this thing. Take this. And now we are blasting. So we start this on Hidu Torment 4, I think. Just make sure we don't shut everything. Do you normally drop the season starter to final patch notes? Yeah, I think that's normal. Okay, we got Serenity now. Got the Templar. Temple. I mean, we could do one bounty act, maybe. But I don't know. Just do it at 70, I guess. <laughs> man, these animations are actually awesome with the two handed sword, man. I never realized. I guess we should have taken the other generator. I would have not lost the massacre here. Okay, just palm now. Let's just get resources from level up. Easy. Remove Paragon. Oh, true. Shouldn't matter right now, but. I mean, actually, not necessarily one shotting stuff with a normal attack. But the palm pops everything.
Man, these animations are so cool. So two handed sword a monk. Love it. I lost it. Okay, let's get 25 in new game. Ruby. And a helm together. Kinda nice. Buff start 1 to 70. I just uploaded a video of that actually. Let's do this again. Top 4. There's a Q in battle at all. Okay, do we have sweeping winds? Yes. Uh, let's keep this, I suppose. Strong spirit. Mangle. Let's do Mangle. Maybe. Seize the initiative and transcendence. A bunny Rift Guardian. It's the first time I tried Mangle. Might not really be necessary. It should be a nice area. Usually I take the. Um, I think it's Fist of Thunder that teleports you. But if a double massacre timer might not be necessary at all. Change the generator back to normal. Not working out. <laughs> Great video guide. Okay, we've done two temple runs now, but they're both kind of like half completed. So, let's do one more run before we get the level 70 weapon in. Again, same thing that you see me earlier. <laughs> Don't do this. Go with Manta Pass, you get Spirit Pass second. I don't think that's really necessary to be fair. But we could try it. I mean, kind of just the Exalted Souls, I guess. What do I usually use here? Relentless, Determination, that's the Determination. Get some extra damage. We don't need Spirit per second, really. As soon as they pop, I have all the Spirit in the world. Just need to make sure you run on, this, run on the right difficulty where they actually pop on the dots like this. Uh oh.
Hmm. It's gonna be a bit tricky. Okay. Oh, very tricky. Okay. There's also an exploding dude coming out. I got a 400 at least. And that's it. I'm gonna finish this until the event though, because otherwise you probably wouldn't have the gold. Here. Why is there an 8 minutes queue? I guess the target servers are down or something. Maybe they're getting dealers again. Is this just uh, NA or is it also EU? What group side is the best? A 1 to 18? Free Necro, 1 Witch Doctor? Ugh. I'm not sure if you really want to heavily optimize that, but yeah, maybe something like that. Okay, we take the level 70 weapon now. I'm just at 5. Had a chicken. Nice movement speed. It's not terrible actually. Getting some speed early. So it gives me defense effectively. There's a bounty here. Okay, these guys hurt, but they die easily, so that's nice. Ouch. So do I. Uh, Tom and Pipe is always quite a stretch here. Dude, my sweeping wind is still at one stack, man, all this time. What is going on? Yeah. Do the same mistake every single time. Don't go Tom and Five, guys. It's a bait every single time. Every time I'm like, oh, I have like triple damage now, a bunch of extra toughness, it's gonna be fine. It's never fine. I see we made the stacking so slowly, man, because I have no crit chance. I think I need to do the crits to stack it. <laughs> I have one stack still, after all this. Oh, they baited. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna reset us here. This is an awful run. It's never fine. <laughs> Go back to Tournament 4 anyway. Only only acts before 70. Yeah, it seems like it's actually not really a move. Unless you want to get the gold to buy the Squirt's uh, recipe, so... That might be realistic, but I'm not sure if anyone has tried doing that, basically. I have blades on. That's nice, not that much.
I wonder if the exploding palm actually pops when these guys explode themselves. Doesn't appear so. And this is so satisfying, I love this monk leveling so much, it's so cool. Oh, did I actually spend my blood shards? I didn't remember how many blood shards I had when I started this run. I'm at 80 now. Dude, I lost my massacre right before Chris's chest. How sad is that? E2R is rolling out. Patch. There's not really much in this patch anyway, right? It's just a few rune words. Is there anything else? I think originally when they announced the patch notes, there was something like there's gonna be more in the final patch or so. So maybe some secret stuff. What did we find anything? Tried no cash wizard hardcore and killing every time. I'll go lower difficulty. No reason to risk your character by leveling. I can't be a dude here. Let's just finish this here. Since you have the event. I think it's always worth just running to the event here if you're close. Even if the massacre bonus drops. At least with other cash you get a bunch of gold and stuff. See how much it is actually, about 50. Oh, 18, okay, it's like a quarter of a level. Should we do another tournament form? Gem Goblin gets Imperial Emerald. Yeah, there's a chance that Gem Goblins drop Imperial Gems at low level. Kind of nice, didn't get that. And this will definitely speed up as well. That might easy wait. Can we do Annihilation? Level 55. Can we do anything else that's cool? Not really. Uh, it's funny how, how much a haircut can do, huh? That easy way. Suddenly I'm 12 years younger. And it was free. Oof. Okay, we saved the massacre, but now we ended it anyway, so... Yikes. I wonder if there's actually like a higher chance that... It continues continue straight, like the path. Seems like that actually happens quite frequently. Eh? Maybe there's like a system to this room here that I cannot run into the dead end. Because every time we run into the dead end, it's like a melee build. There's basically no way you're gonna get out of it with a massacre. It's not without the double duration.
Uh, Imperial Emerald uh, or Imperial Ruby is really nice. You get two Imperial Rubies from like a. Uh, well, just one actually. Put it in the helm. But even in the early levels, if you have it in a weapon, it's really nice too. It's probably better than the helm until later. Just to like speed up your kills a lot. Uh, I don't think I can get this guy. Got him. Let's get out of here. Hello, Yozo Pie. Technically, it's not my shit, actually. There's just maintenance on the bot. Oh, my leveling is cursed chest, guys. Oh, actually, we should start adding some items now, right? We will craft something now, so... Let's add 500 points, I guess. And then next time we do, like, another... The level 70 items we will craft now, slowly, for run. Maybe we don't need to go down now. Let's see. Could make it a bit easier and safer. They want to do a, it's a hardcore friendly run. I know, thanks so much, man. The 17. Mm, can we get the Zeno? He's pretty low. Oh, he's also uh, there's a quest map. Oh. Oh, can we palm his Indus? I guess you could, but he died too fast. Oh, it's gonna be tough here. Very sad to lose it now. Let's go. Bot is spamming the chat. <laughs> what is going on with that bot today, man? Can time out stream elements for a day? How about that? I should probably be like pretty close to 60 after this run. Let's do like another big one. We had 48 minutes. Okay. I wonder if I can reach 70 in 20 minutes from now, which is what I actually did on PR roughly. But it's also with the buff as well. Uh, there's nothing. Okay. Oh, there's nothing coming out here. <laughs> I was standing next to like these corpses here. There's three corpses, four actually. Nothing coming out. That's un that's very unlikely actually. Oh well. 
Yeah, almost at the end, so let's just finish this event. We have 57, okay, that's fine, I guess. Firestorm is the best tune for leveling your sleeping wins. Uh, I do a Blade Storm because it has higher DPS. There's one that has like a bigger radius, which is also not bad, so you have like a higher chance to reset the massacre bonus without losing it. But usually I rely on Blade Storm quite a lot to actually like pop the exploding palms. Sick. Two socketed minus eight level chest. Not okay, by the way. Okay, we have an upgrade on our Ruby. That's something. Let's put this thing. Let's put this thing for a whole three auras. I think I'm gonna try Annihilation now. Oh, nothing is coming out of this one. Interesting. See if the little Vizanius can teleport to me. Doesn't look like. It's probably probably want to do a near death experience though. Make sure that we don't die. Or lose Massacre Streak, at least. Now, where do we go? Is it like here? Yeah, this pace is exactly optimal, I'd say, for this palm leveling. This is exactly the pace. Stuff doesn't die too fast or too slow. You just like palm them, run around a little bit with your blade storm, sweeping wind, and stuff pops. The bugs just die whenever you want. Nothing else, you have to pay a bit of attention. Ah, and we lost it, and we level 60. Oof, okay. We got a new run. We're still level 60, so we can still snapshot it. Let's do like a Tom 2, I guess. Playing R6 at the Fire Rune on Ancient Spear. Did 147 of it. Got to 5, 6 minutes at least, and 150. It's a Fire Rune? What? Keep palm and carry on. That's a good motto, actually. What paragon is that? Cosmic? 
I'm not sure what's the estimate for Reiko 150. It's like 3k actually on non season, right? Or something. 3 4k maybe. If I'm not mistaken, like Reiko is really strong. Okay, let's go straight through the room. Dude, nothing here. Coming out of these things. I'm always so unlucky. Let's see how it will be. I'm using Storm Shield. Why? At 5k? Storm Shield? What happened? I guess the main advantage is you can just like, you know, keep spearing, right? And then you also don't really worry much about the boss skill. You just like keep spearing. <laughs> like do, do some weapon throws and then keep spearing and boss dies eventually. Do you even need a weapon throw? Yeah, you just, yeah, actually you do. Because of the charges. Kind of interesting. Pain enhancer. <laughs> Wait, no Zays. Why not? I feel like no escape in Zays makes a lot more sense on fire instead of boulder. Man, this is an awful run here, dropping a massacre twice. I mind three times. Four times. Did I add more paragons? Obviously, I've only minor points. Actually, there should be uh, more now. Let's do this. I want to do this before this run, actually. Have to attack fast. Why do I have to attack faster with fire spear compared to anything else? Oh, you did this on season with the pull. Okay, never mind. But then that's awful. Check the vendor. Int. Guess it's something. Let's do a Toma 2 again. Let's see. Let's see if we can hit level 70 in 10 minutes or now. So 70 minutes, including everything in the live server. That's kind of nice. Then I have to do the bounty still, so... Since I'm going straight for this room instead of going, you know, the first turn is most often the way. So I think I'm going to do that in the future, just to go straight through. I just don't know what to do when it comes from 
the bottom left. So it's like any way to tell. DARP has came out and nobody can go online. Oh, well, unlucky. Just wait like an hour and it's gonna be fixed, I guess. So is there any like surprises in a patch? Besides the rune words? Or maybe like on the season launch, I guess. It's asking earlier, but I'm not sure if anyone actually answered. They're definitely by far the sloppiest massacre bonuses they have done this entire season. In level practice. This is awful. On the other hand, it's gonna be real nice at a double duration, man. Because you're never gonna lose this. Because even if you get like an unlucky streak of like, you know, two rooms of nothing, it's like dash through them. They keep it. Enough. One two is fine, let's go again. You try to get the boots as fast as possible. How many boots are like on average 500 shards? Like, and so far I've found like 20 shards? <laughs> I can't even get a single item. What do you mean, get the boots, Bob? The booties. Just get the boots, Bob. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I think PoJ is gonna be fine. I think if anything, I'm gonna make another one monk. Again with the bracelets I discussed earlier. I think it might be a better strat. Man, I need to get my uh, CP mid up. I have two stacks now. It takes so long to stack it, man. Like no crit. Probably tone one now, but let's see. Text Barbarian. I think I've done Barbarian cash and no cash on PDR already. But we have done like the two Hades gift run. So yeah, we're gonna just do a poll again tomorrow. It's only like three classes left after this anyway. Barb, Witch Doctor Crusader, so I expect that. The pole will be barb anyway. Oh, Shakana. I will start Necromancer most likely, unless the hunter turns out ridiculous. I've not spike traps. 
Which, I mean, there's a decent chance for it, I guess. But I need something that can do GR 150 on day one. And if the team spike traps cannot do that, then, well, I'm not gonna start Demon Hunter. Gonna do Demon Hunter on day two, probably. <laughs> Good cosmic. I've seen spear. I've missed that ampana. Maybe not two thousand spears, but spear for sure. Okay, after the turn, it's time for 1500 in Gons. We should have like pretty much full level 70 gear at this point or close to it. Ah, we exploded him. It worked, look. I got into like 2%, went next floor, and like a second later, it reset the timer. It worked. But there's nothing else, so I have. No, I'm not going to play Season 3. I think we can go Town 1 now. What is the exact center of the area damage? It's around the center of each enemy's hitbox. How long is possible level full level 70 gear? Uh, that depends a bit on the class, I guess. On Wish Sector, you can basically go Torment 6 all the way, mostly. Or close to Torment 6 and Necro as well. But here, for example, it slows down. Demanta also relatively weak. Wizard kind of weak. Uh, Bob can probably do like Torment 3 all the way or so, at least. So, yeah, it depends a bit on like the class and which abilities you actually use. Here, like, I really rely on, like, palming and running and everything dies, like, this. I can't do this on a too high difficulty. You see, I have, like, mostly full yellows now, with the paragons I added and stuff, and it's still not really smooth, and this is T1 right now, so... It's not nothing crazy here. But that's just, like, the pace you go at as a monk. You have these big palms, but you also need to load the palms, which is the bigger problem. Actually, I realize I'm still running Mantra instead of uh, Earth Ally. But sh I should probably change that and could maybe do like Tier 2, uh, Atom 2 or Atom 3 even. Just like pop the palm sometimes when I have to. Maybe at this point I also want to just switch back to hard and start doing the bounties. So I guess we're gonna do like one new game after this. And then do the bounties. So after Helix. So I can like do the last levels there and save a bit of time. Art should probably be okay. Let's see how that will go. Yeah, it was a massacre anyway. Ruby. Should we do it now? 66 and a half? Let's try it. 
So we're gonna do the fight bounty axe now, but he's not gonna turn in until level 70. So we get to jewel our plans. And then we have mats for exactly three things. Which is kinda of problematic. Very problematic actually. Put the ally here. Our ally is pretty strong, actually. Let's see how Skeleton King goes on hard. What is this? I'm reading about Raker Bass being awesome. Oh, this is news from two seasons ago. What exactly are you wondering about? Magic with Goblin. <laughs> F. Oh, I can actually dash over this without opening the door. Can dash over this? Oh, yeah. So I have my keys here. Should use that, I guess. See how our Mystic Ally fares against Hard Skeleton King. It's probably gonna be awful. Okay, it works. <laughs> it looks so hilarious. Got a DB. So he can't DBs again, we got one. Also, I need to get rid of my Blood Shards right now, so let's gamble some stuff. Varenic. We replaced our plus two XP pants now, finally. <laughs> First gamble, okay. Let's just do all the bosses while we add it. Still wanna do some massacres, I guess, while doing the bounties, at least on some of those maps. So I need to figure out, like, you know, how exactly I'm gonna do this. You can definitely start a bounties pre-70, but you have to turn him in at 70, apparently, for the jewel crafting recipes. So maybe something like this is fine. Just hope you don't get to see it. about doing public bounties after reaching 70. Eh? Well, if you're like otherwise solo and you don't really have anyone to ask for bounties, and why not? Can only be better, I guess. Still forgot the ruby here. Speed on us. Abo, I'll make a necro on season start. And if everything goes according to plan, we do 150 and then go demon hunter. Or maybe wizard. But we're gonna see the on the CDDH, I think.
There's no cash, yes. I mean, gonna finalize the plans on Friday, I guess, when I see the patch notes. Because then we should get a really good idea of like how strong Natalia will be. Even if we can't test it until like probably Tuesday or Wednesday. What if the nerf Nova and make a mistake with Natalia? I mean, Nova, Nova nerf is not happening, I think. And Natalia, if anything, since they are not testing their change, they're probably gonna make it like too strong instead of too weak. So, especially with like the field craft we're gonna do after that, etc. Right? So, dude, once the Earth ally is not blasting anymore, look at this. I have no damage. <laughs> it's all the Earth ally. Uh. But yeah, I'm worst case to do a second activation, I guess. Okay, I'm racking off. So I have those out of the way. Go, Earth Ally. Oh, come back. Get this guy. Where is he going? I want the DB here. Yes. Okay, Earth Ally man, you're stupid. So stupid. I didn't get a DB. Hi, Ice Bird. Zwerge Eis. Let's go. Ooh, Bloodshot Goblin. People say Cruise Boots, I say Bracer. Although Cruise Boots is an easier gamble and also helped me more early. Rock solid indeed, man. Yeah, okay, Record of has like no HP compared to Adria. Look at this. Bloop, bloop. Come on. Adria is just like built different, man. Okay, two DBs. Big Helm. So let's finish this act by act, I guess. I probably don't need Transcendence anymore, it's so fleet footed for some speed. Can we get extra speed somehow? Probably don't need Serenity. So let's do Mantra. Speed us up a bit. Do I have to kill enemies nearby? Killing an enemy that is affected by Mantra of Conviction. Uh, what's the radius? 30 yards. That's not terrible, I guess. Yeah, that's, that feels not bad, actually. Heart of Guild, you're not gonna die, so it's all good. Okay, 3 dBs. Actually, I should start gambling as soon as possible on level 1 because I can Gangdo Gear. Right now, I'm running Gangdo Gear. That would also be pretty useful. Drop our ally. Our ally, going ham, dude. Seriously. 
Why did I have to make this thing so stupid? I can replace our Lord of the Glove. I'm gonna do uh, air ally man sometimes. Ooh, got a gold wrap. <laughs> That's not terrible. Holy damage. Let's go. Oh, Palm is holy right now. Comes the one beast. I'm getting so little spirit here. Yeah. These explosions. It's just not the really the density, I guess. Bunnies are definitely quite a bit faster on this level though, because I have a bunch of tools now to speed it up. With the palms and the movement speed I get and stuff. It's definitely not bad. I wonder if there's like a rune that increases my duration. Oh, I also have the spirit per second actually, maybe do that in a storm. It's actually not bad. It's 8 per second. That is pretty significant. Hello, Katze. Also quickening here. A bit more. But the thing is, you only get this 8 spirit vision, means at 3 stacks, right? And you're not gonna get 3 stacks really, without any crit chance. How's my crit? A whole 5%. A whole 68. I guess I can start a bounce a bit earlier than this. We started at like 66 and a half, right? But well, it seems like a, a decent time to do it. Hatch is live for D2R and no one can log in apparently. <laughs> it's like some issues with the login service. Yeah, CP Min sounds nice in principle, but I need some crit chance 
to make this actually work. Which we should get soon, actually, with some items. We would actually have some crit chance, most likely, from like a glove that we crafted or so. Okay, let's get a rock really quick. No problem. Alright, blood shots. 15. Insane. I've done this. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have turned this in. Okay, we have to turn this in at level 70, guys. Don't turn it in immediately. Remember. <laughs> So this was Pepega. Yikes. Dude, I can't kill these guys. No sweeping wind, no resource. Oof. Palm in the illusion and blow him up. It would be nice if it's like press sweeping wind again to get stacks instead of trying to get a crit. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Three stacks for the first time since I selected the room, guys. Sick. Okay, plastic straws. And what are you trying to do? Wait, where do you even get plastic straws in this day and age? Aren't they forbidden? In you? Just X amount here of supply. Ah, so it's like regulated, but not completely forbidden. Interesting. Got a ring. Got an Aurorix ring. That's a bit late. <laughs> but okay. There's a bat that shoots like three cane projectiles at once. What is this?
pump on one out of five. Not about vigilante. <laughs> Cold immune, does the guy. The demon cash. Okay, don't turn us in. We guard Faye now. There's a limit to how much you can drink and drive in Germany, Elliot. But yeah, there's like, if you're like mildly drunk, you can still drive. alcohol oh, okay i mean like while driving like actually sipping something yeah, that shouldn't be, be an issue no gotta stay hydrated that's close Yeah, I'm not sure exactly like how much like alcohol this is like that you can still drive with. But yeah, if basically if you had like a beer or like a glass of wine or so, this is usually okay. And it shouldn't like impact impair that much anyway, so. Body bees. Netherlands, I can do that too. Let's get this guy. Go, oh, Earth Ally. Where is he blasting off? I'm here. Oh, not in the beer. That's five. We have barracks. Oof.
Why are you so angry about people being allowed to drink and drive in Germany? It's the issue exactly. straws or anything and of course I wouldn't like to sip cocktails without a straw I gotta say but outside of that I mean what do you need straws for There's not really a point in having straws, it's just like nice, you know? Yeah, things that exist just because it's, you know, nice or fun or whatever, right? So, not everything needs to have like a rational reason. needs a straw. Unless maybe you have like some issues with your muscles in your face or so from I don't know what. I mean then I could maybe imagine this is actually like a medical application. water with a straw. <laughs> That's curious. Why ice water? What metal straws that have silicon tips so you can put them on the, an easily washable. <laughs> yeah, I've seen these metal straws that you can like extend and then, you know, sheath basically. But it never really seemed very like. Enjoyable, but maybe that's good ones. Yikes, olives, indeed, man. And I say this sitting in the olive country. Actually, I thought it was already a thing, but I guess it doesn't matter anymore. We are actually level 70 now. Is it good though? It has 5 crit. I guess that will be very helpful actually for uh, 
my uptime here. Okay, and then we need to do just four more bounties. Actually, looking kind of fine here. One hour forty. So when we're done with Act Four, we like maybe one hour fifty or so. Four bounties, two minutes per bounty seems fine. So it's a bit behind the demon under time now, but at least we have like an ethical run where we have our jewelry crafting recipes guaranteed. Which uh, is kind of doubtful in the demon under run I was doing. So this might be the way, just like, you know, at level 65 or something, just like stop leveling and just do the rest of bounties on there on the easy difficulty. Oh, more crit chance, man. We're actually getting CP win stacks now. Look at that. Like 20 crit now, suddenly. This game can be so easy when you have crit. Oh, we also have we're level 70. I have to craft our level 70 again now and remove the paragons. So I'm going to do that. Is that more here? Is this enough? Okay, we can turn these things in now. Big love. Get more blood shards. And an amulet. <laughs> Let's see it. it. Has cold damage. What do you get with the crit? Okay, let's do it. Maybe a fine, it's just like a bit of crit that we have. Let's put some... Actually, it's the resource cost. That's 10 resource. I think I want resource more right now. Okay, I can't leave the game yet. Crit is 10.5%. Let's see how consistent this will be. I don't really need massacre bonuses anymore. I got another passive. Um, actually, let's do Exalted Soul, I guess. For some region. It's kind of neat. So we can just like fall more and run. Actually, Beacon, maybe, for more dashes. Hmm. It's also not bad. Hope we can to be out here. I started bounties at like 66 and a half. I think on season can do it a bit earlier because of the massacre bonuses you're gonna have and I'm already 70 here but around 65, 66 is a good time for hard bounties. Maybe like 67, 68 if you do normal. I don't think you have to do normal though with like full 70 gear and stuff. I think hard is like acceptable on any class.
Okay, go Earth Ally. Come back. No. Earth Ally. Oh my god. <laughs> he killed the first two and then goodbye. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. We got absolutely nothing and everything is spread out. Nice. I think we can actually reduce this a bit here, but it wouldn't really matter. All the stats we have now. Oh, not again, the burrows. Why do hard for XYXB? Because I started, like, as, as I just explained, like, if, if you do hard, you can do like, like 65 to 66 against other bounties. Also, normal, it's like 67, 68, so I have to do it later. And it doesn't really seem like particularly slower, I gotta say, so it's probably fine. Yeah, we're gonna craft Sage, and I think we should have to Matsu like cube one single item, which is gonna be the Daibo. So we cannot cube anything besides the Daibo, which is a bit sad, but that's what you gotta deal with. And then you have to do like another like you know T13 or T16 bounty run at some point once you have our headache and everything set up. And then we should be okay. Question is, can we do it in one hour and fifteen minutes to beat the Demon Hunter? That sounds pretty tough. Why would a cube die, bro? Because balance is a very good item, that's why. Ah, here, can save this one. Diablo, cute Diablo. Oh. Oh, I'm not sure if I saved the TP. Maybe. That looks like it. Okay, it's so 1 hour 50. On the dots, basically. That's fine. Save this. We don't have many DBs yet, though. We don't get any from these bounty catches either. They do have our plans now, and it's a maze. Oh. Huh. That's the wrong act one item. 2k DPS and the explosion. Hmm. I think I will try that one. Why not? Every 10 kills, 1300%. That's like a palm. That's like half a palm actually. Maybe, maybe it's actually pretty bad. Save this. Shield for our guy. We got a vigilante belt, that's a pretty nice upgrade. Ball prop is useless right now. Okay, we save this. Okay, we're done with all the acts. Let's go on the level 1 monk and gamble. Bracer. Is the bot working properly again now, by the way?
Damn. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Do we want to use this? Hmm. Probably not. No, I can't get the ancient items. These are low level items we're gambling here. It's like a level 16 item. Uh. Yeah, hard was fine. We have to do a rift now and the bosses and stuff. Okay, let me open the journey tracker. I don't have a second weapon. So I guess you just craft like a second like maze or something. We craft like one of each item now and a sage set. So let me see this. This is Act 3 and Act 4. This is Act 2 and Act 4. So we have one Act 4 left. And gloves is Act 4, Act 5. We can't do gloves in that case. That's not a helm. This is Act 2 and Act 5. Okay, so if you do this combo, you have one material left for cubing one item. Um, maybe at this point we actually want to put it on the follower. Because we are level 70 now and we can wear items ourselves. So let's do this. Okay, let's craft everything else. So in this case we'll craft like another pair of boots or whatever. I can also just keep using those I have, I suppose, but it doesn't really matter. We have a bracer. Although this one is probably better than the one I will craft. Yes. A chest. This one should be easy to replace. Confirmed Illuminati man. The glove is actually not terrible, we can just keep that. The helm is also not terrible, we can just keep that. The shoulder. Frost mirror, thanks for the pie, man. This is pretty good. And we need the weapon here. Only one socket though. Let's do this. Let me roll a few items. Let's get a bit of crit and stuff. Should be very helpful. Or maybe palm damage. Super wind damage. I'm gonna keep that. Don't make the attack speed much. Crit damage. Sure. Thanks. I could have gotten better pants, but okay. Some decks. We don't roll anything on this weapon, actually. What about the damage? So I like one or two. And nothing here, I suppose, and nothing here. Alright. Time for a rift. Let's see if we can do a heart easily. The current best time. Well, I've done only three runs, and the best one by far was the Demon Hunter, I would say. But the Demon Hunter run was also not exactly proper, it seems, so... Oh, we have to remove this now. So how's our stats? 5.9, 4k, okay. Should be fine. So we get the key... ...or two... I see these explosions now from the Lorex weapon. Kind of funny. Boom. Okay, this is pretty smooth actually so far. I wonder if Pit of Sprite would actually be the, the play here. Just like run on normal and take Pintos. I could try it for the second rift. It's gonna take Pinto and do Back of Light instead of the Palm and see what happens. It's good like uh, Air Ally or whatever. Okay, I got uh, 70 Bs. I have to remember. D3R with Auction Out, of course, man. That's part of the experience. What do you mean, no auction house? How else are you gonna get your items? 
don't expect to find them. Do you? Okay, that's 9 dB. It's kind of cool actually, like, you know, starting the season and actually like looking out for all these, you know, items and stuff. It's very fun. Make magic find relevant again. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> magic find. Enjoy us. Yeah, Guardian is not automatic uh, recipe, but Sage is a recipe yeah, from the start. So that's pretty neat. I gotta say, I think compared to all other classes, this was probably the best, like, first rift at least. Just run, everything dies, let's do a beacon for more dashing. Maybe don't need this very much. I don't really have anything else to put. Item here. Okay, this is 11 dBs, I think. Have to save divers when you find them. Gold meter is really fun indeed. Remove main stun from Paragon and replace with magic finds. And that is actually a good suggestion. <laughs> in that case, I would actually approve of magic find. And it's kind of like how it worked in Vanilla, right? In the early days of Paragon. So you were able to replace magic find on a gear with uh, Paragons and eventually didn't need magic find at all. Aquila, that's not terrible. Should we do any kind of LED shenanigans? But I don't think I will. The Comet is better than Star Pact. Yeah, I mean, pff, unlikely. But it might be better on the low end, it might be better on the far high end as well, yes. But in between, it should be Star Pact. Let's just wear this, I guess, for now. Okay, do Pinto. Which, by the way, rolls cold damage. I guess it doesn't matter. We have to defeat certain bosses. Siegebreaker, Butcher. Let's go. We have not done any of those two. Gold Goblin. How much does he give? One and then a K F. That's not really much. Do you ever get burned out of D3? Not really. I don't really play much other games. I do play PoE sometimes on the season, on league launches and stuff. So it's like the, the other main game I have, I guess. Aside from this, I've not really been doing like a lot of variety gaming in the last few years. I mean, okay, the Outer Mortal came out, I played that for a month or so, but. That's about it. D2R came out and played that for like a few weeks. So I guess there was like some other like 
stuff in between. Let's get this guy over here. How much gold do we get from this bounty? 16k. Okay, we have to do Belial and Sedea on hard as well. So let's do that over here. Minesweeper stream. No, thank you. I'm not a big fan of Minesweeper. Let's just put Dex gems, I guess. Pretty invincible here. Can I tank these Moltens? Oh. Go for our next one, I guess. <laughs> Accidentally walked out of the Molten. Unlucky. But this is kind of like the how you want to go on bounties, actually. It's just like, you know, palm, run, palm, run. I think I would start the bounties like way earlier, actually. Like maybe 63, 64, if I was a monk. Just like do this. Should be pretty nice, even on like normal, hard difficulty, whatever. Uh, 20, that's not 20, that sounds pretty rough. Okay, we got uh, 13 dBs, I think. Belial. I actually do get uh, dBs are quite reliably, 15. Kind of surprising. Burning Essence room for AP. And why exactly that one? I don't have the resources otherwise, like I cannot palm if I don't have this room. I think everything else is pretty bait. Oh, that's be really nice. Ah, oh, no. Actually, the Earthfighter should be okay. I think it's the Water Ice that cannot reach there, but the Earthfighter goes like all over the place, right? So it should be fine. And we have them ready again because they have Empowered Shrine. Okay, go Earthfighter. Let's just tank this guy. And we got the Explosion from the weapon. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I do not have any Imperial Gems as well as none. Oh, they can only drop on high difficulty, right? Uh, what is that? Sidea. Essence burn. Burn enemy. It's enemy, guys. It's 3200 over 3 seconds. And the regular palm here is 2700. It's like 20% stronger, not even. Like, how is that better? The burn is similar, the damage is similar, and they don't get essence, uh, uh, spirit. Like, what's the advantage exactly? Let's get the top F.
Oh, we're so broken off get legendaries in a dark area. <laughs> so let's go like off screen. Uh, Cold Meter is really strong. I'm not sure if it's going to be number one though. It's kind of hard to be really fast with Cold Meter. It's not like some you know, super fast paced build. Okay, what else do we have to do? Scan the King on Master, Gom on Master. Extract the power, which I have not done yet actually. So we're waiting for the, the balance to do that. So we're not gonna have our four piece until then, which probably doesn't matter. Doesn't really do anything. Boost all the artisans, craft an imperial gem. Why did it not TP? Emeralds and then appear with Topaz and craft a ring, I guess. So we also have to do that, I guess. It's gone master. I wonder if we can do Torment 4 already. Or we're trying to get the LD first. I probably have to get like two or three activations here on the boss. For my ally. It's gonna summon ads, it's gonna be awful. Yeah, it's gonna be very awful actually. Oof. You got the beast for it and a diver. On the right hand. Thank you. Saved us, we have two divers. We can almost do it actually. I think I like 17, 19 now. A few more to beast. 17. Bob is counting. Perfect. Oh, that is gonna be bad now. They should have done some type of light here. Let's see. Uh, okay, it's like two activations maybe. Okay, maybe blow up the ads too. I could have pressed mantras with this. Okay, let's go. Not too bad. Nineteen. Hmm. I'm gonna do it actually. I'm losing air damage, but this should be fine. Higher crit helps. A crit chance is better than crit damage right now. Get those sweeping wind stacks easier. If I lie, do something. Oh man, I actually imagine like getting like a random goblin and just go into the vault, man, if it opens the vault. I'll be sick. That would definitely give you like the gold you need for uh, the plants, I guess, even on like a low difficulty.
cow would be great, many mobs. And for Massacre Chain, for sure. Oh, we kept the Sweeping Wind. Well, it's not enough. Let's pawn the ads. It's not enough. Okay, use the old school way, man, with Sweeping Wind and punching. Vanilla style. Alright. So, this is basically our four piece without the extract one power. Let's go uh, back to hard. I want to see if I can just like one shot stuff with wave light and hard. Do a second rift or a second key, then we get powerful and the LOD gem. A blue goblin. Yeah, blue goblin doesn't give that much gold. Okay, after this, we can do one upgrade, I suppose. Light. Let's do explosive light anyway, I suppose. And we go air on We need to go like solid soul. And chant resonance. Let's go like full resource region, basically. Let's see how it feels. Okay, we are kind of watching stuff, it seems. I'm not sure if it's actually better. Oh. Two more. Yeah, Pindos is okay. But we have some hard difficulty, but like this it kinda works. Not sure if it's really faster than the palm stuff I was doing. But let's just do this run. And even with all the stuff I have here, resource jam in the helm. Oof. Speed pile though. Oh, there's actually three Nova builds. There's Tragul, LOD, and Denarius. And looks like they're all gonna land in S tier, guys. <laughs> Necro is a good class. Very balanced builds. Now it's uh, Blood Nova. Poison Nova is kinda out. Green amulet, black form. Let's go. Dude, this mystic ally gives like no resources. And you don't have the coolest boots. Okay, 25 dBs. You can do one upgrade Daibo now. We got a power plant for the boss. Wonderful. But a hard Nephilim Rift boss. And it still needs like three hits. Four. Okay. Got the key. Yeah, let's do more damage, get buff from POJ. Oh, yeah, the six piece bonus actually. Does buff the allies. I guess you are right. 
think I'm going to try to roll some crit on this. We should save fist weapons as well for upgrades later. Plus 12% damage. Nope. Let's do this. And we got the paddle. Unlucky. But it's a bunch of TPS. Let's just sell these, I suppose. Not sure. Maybe gonna do some LD shenanigans. Okay, it's time for Rift. Level 1 is hard. Okay, we do a GR 3, I suppose. Let's keep going with this stuff. Laps. <laughs> Speed pilot again. Let's go. Yeah, to set up the rips are actually better to be fast though. It's kind of nice that we got this pinto. I think this is faster than the AP stuff. Probably weaker, but let's see. Yeah, we can do this fast. Then we can get an LD gem. We have like one, two, three, four, five, six items. So LD is gonna start doing work really fast. We're two hours twenty almost though. Oof. Not that much time, yeah. Single digit greater rifts. Now, usually, the first greater rift I do is the GR20 for the Hadrix. But yeah, here there's like a bit of a different scenario because you're weak. Just wanna get those gems. Huge damage, man. Okay. Holy oh, gift. <laughs> uh, okay, we have to have a nine. I forgot to actually like, drop it. But let's not forget the LD gem. Let's drop those. Keep adding more to the pile. So we do three again, I guess. We don't empower, let's go. Get our LD gem. Then we are already like a bit stronger. Probably like 50% or so. Okay, Also didn't suck it uh, powerful actually. We're running GR freeze, guys. Only 67 GRs to go for this run.
much spirit do I have? 326. So far, it seems to. Um, Mystic Allah just seems to like add so little spirit. 26 maximum spirit here. Otherwise, nothing special. What is the gift? This is from Christmas event, which is still running. It gives you materials and transmogs. But we're not gonna open this one. Because most likely the event will be off by the time the season launches. Amulets. Two amulets. Wait. <laughs> Why are there so many amulets? I got a flavor, man. <laughs> okay, three succeeds. How much is that? 15%. Yeah, this is for LD. We got 15% extra damage from the LD. Uh, we need. We actually don't need the dog signal anymore, but I guess it's an extra. Okay, does this have a socket? Also, no, but it has good stats. Oh, plus 30% damage. Okay, wait a minute. Can we get a socket on this? We can. Let's get a nice ring. I suppose we take this. Dexterity? Wait, it has dexterity. Good damage, not sure. Maybe another roll. Good chance would be nice. Hmm. I think we take the crit chance. Even though it's like a DPS downgrade. But we might get a socket on the weapon eventually. Maybe we can try it now, actually. Spirit region is not terrible. Okay, can't roll on that anyway. Let's do this. This. Okay, the question is what now? Let's so cut this thing here. Good flavor. Uh, what now? Do we just do another rift? I think you go master. They're the same stuff. Oh, my LD gems! Goodbye. And... Try to get some more DBs and try to get another Daibo upgrade. Sorry, I don't need LD gems anymore anyway. It's, I have, like, enough of them. Okay, do a master rift now. Okay, we count the bees again. We have two. How many? We have 150 uh, death breath. Right now, the Tempest Flash braces don't help me yet. But they do help me once I have the six piece. So I think I'm gonna do like one more run. Get our LD up slightly higher. So we just rush through this now. Okay, and these. How much do I have now? Six? Let's just say six. What did we have like some count from earlier that I forgot?
Okay, that's over here. I'm doing a uh, zero to primals run. Two and a half hours. Uh, the amount that was done in half an hour for now. I'm not gonna be that, I guess. Or maybe I can do three and a half. Depends on when we get a Daibo, I guess. Daibo's really the big thing here. But there's not that many Daibos, I believe. It's like eight, maybe, or seven. Two keys. Okay, we're gonna sacrifice all of them with 10 dBs. And then we're gonna add the uh, 25 move speeds. Well, I can't sacrifice yet, I have like 6 dBs. Save this. Dude, I keep getting these uh, holiday gifts there. Yeah. Nine dBs. It's kind of tempting to try to roll the coolest boots right now, just to speed things up a little bit. Maybe it's actually the play. Since we're quite far away from the GR70 right now. Well, actually, we're not. We could probably do it. Mr. Bracer. Got nothing anyway. Uh, I'm gonna boost the LOD a bit more and then we go to round 4 and do it. Oh wait, I'm stupid, I still can't. I need to extract an item and I have only one shot at extracting an item without doing more bounties. Okay, let's do GR7. Man, this is like a wave of light build, man. You press the button, stuff dies. You don't have to wait for your rabbit strike to actually attack the right target. Wow. The build works. You know, it just works. No clone, I get stuck at every rock. Paddle works. Yes, that's the paddle, guys. With the six spear region. It's actually fairly noticeable. Yeah, let's just do the key ones and the uh, GRs at 20 after this, so we just have it done, I guess. I don't know. We try to just run rifts until we get enough DBs. For a Daibo. Eight Daibos, man, that's quite, quite an order, actually. I mean, plan B could be, we ignore balance exists, we just go GR20, cube like a random item, and then, yeah, we cry, I guess. Let's have to do bounties again. Oh, is this the Sleeping Wind belt? No, 
Oh, that was actually nice. Okay, let's try like a Torment 2 rift or something. Let's try to do the Torment 4 rift. Let's just go for it. Let's see how that actually works. Yeah, still hold it, I guess. Uh, I don't really update the Maxwell guides. Well, I've done mine. Necro and Demonte has updated. And some other various things. But yeah, it should be should everything come like this week basically, so. Yeah, actually this works. What level is LD now? Seven. It's not very smooth, but it works. The problem is like now with multiple attacks I'm running out of resources. So I wonder if it would be worth going back to a Mystic Ally. Earth Ally, I mean. Maybe you could run this setup without the Palm, but without the Ally. So we have the Ally as like an extra DPS. Okay, here's DBs. Okay, we say we sacrifice 10 dBs and we get the movement speed thing for one key and 10 dBs. So now I'm out of keys and out of dBs again. Let's change this and try. For ally blasting, maybe. But my Templar has 38 million toughness, I have 4. Uh, he said he had 9 dB, so we should have one left now. Let's see, always find two. It's free now. Let's use the channeling pile while we can. Gem Golden. <laughs> That's a bit late. I wonder if I can take out a Molten Explosion. I can actually, on Torment 4. Interesting. And Power Shrine Scalore. Playing with the Potion Upgrade before it is cool. Use Epiphany Spirit. Nah, no, you're definitely not gonna run Epiphany here. Epiphany has like, what is 60? 90 seconds cooldown? No way. I think 60, but still. That's my cooldown. I now have 60% because of the shrine, but otherwise it would have like 10 or something. Actually, I have to passive. That's the only thing I have, I believe. It's 60, last 15 seconds. How much, okay, how much average spirit per second is that? With 20% CDR, the cooldown is 48, and we get 40 spirit per second for 15 seconds, so it's 600 spirit in 48 seconds, so actually it is not that bad, as they say it. It's better than Mantra, Mantra just gets free. Per second. We have 48 in 60, uh, 648 seconds. Yeah, it's like 12 per second or so on average. Huh. But I think I might actually overcap in that case. Bs again, that's 5. Okay. 
Mega Stun von Templar. Primal. Hm. <lacht> Another Killer. Okay, it's 2 out 20, I guess. And this is cube, whatever we have. Maybe that's the way after all. Seeing the one come now at some point. And then another bounty run, I guess, on turn 6 or something. Alright, crash materials. After T7, you get 8 materials. So we can do anything like T1 to T6, doesn't matter. For the bounties. So we can literally do like T1 bounties of the full set, which is like rush through. Do it in like 20 minutes. Yeah, the 4 BOJ does nothing. Like, we're not gonna, not gonna use that. Also, I don't have it unlocked because I still haven't cubed an item. Right now, I only have one of each bounty material. So I can cube exactly one item. And I was hoping to get the balance. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cube some random item that helps us, maybe. Something like Killer is not terrible, I guess. And uh, we just use the six piece then after this run, basically. We have to do the keyboard ends, and then you have everything if you cube an item. Oh, it's actually dead. It. Never mind. It's permanent damage reduction, yeah, but only if you Timmy's Rush. I'm not even Tempest Rushing right now. I don't have the Bracer. I mean, the Bracer are easy to get, but I don't have them yet. I'm still doing this with light stuff here. But yeah, Bra Bracer plus the set, plus an Acute Killer, we should be chilling on at least like Torment 6, Torment 8, like really fast. So maybe just gonna do that. And do like an extra bounty run. Even if it's not like a T16 bounty run, it's okay. We get some mats, and that helps me just like build everything else. And maybe even get something like, you know. Guardian in there or so if I get a rock. Yeah, this GR20 is going really well though, I gotta say. Even without the bracer, I could easily do it now with like, what is it? LOD 7. So either the bracer or the LOD, I think it's fine. You'll be able to complete this without too much trouble. I mean, from two sides is nice, every rune. Yeah, and I have the big uh, sleeping wind belt now, actually. <laughs> Let's get some resources here before the boss. I can actually hit the, the air. Oh, you can. I didn't realize. Mace and chest armor. Big items. Okay, we know the LD even further now. As realized, it doesn't actually make sense to do the GR20 first to get some LD levels. Now it's 45% per item, man. And now we should do the keep ones like super easy. Zehn percent auf dem Weg, um mich Deutsch sprechen zu lassen. Andere Leute sind anscheinend schon viel weiter. Elliot. Oh, oh. Ich treffe mich selber hier mit Woge des Lichts. Ein bisschen ganz darunter. Oh, hier ist die mysteriöse Höhle. Da können wir auch den äh, flüssigen Regenbogen finden. Ah, 
Ab geht's, ja. Habe ich mich selber... Ah. Ja. Man merkt's, aber es tötet mich nicht. Ich muss sagen, es ist schon ziemlich entspannt hier mit dem Gürtel. Aha. Atem des Todes. Ich weiß nicht, wie viel wir haben. Zehn vielleicht. Okay, ja. Erster Schüsse, Wächter erledigt. Nächster ist direkt her. Ich habe noch nicht mal meinen äh, mystischen Verbündeten. Mhm. <lacht> Gib Gummi. Hinter Robben, dann Robben, Robben, dann Robben, Robben, dann Robben, 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 dann Robben hinterher. Uff. Das ist schwierig. Kein Atem des Todes. Warum sind alle diese Schüsselwächter so weit entfernt, Mann? Okay, Akt 1 war ziemlich nah. Mal gucken, wie Akt 4 ist. Okay, 12. Ja, das ist Zufall, dass ich so gut Deutsch kann. Ungefähr 1% Chance. Okay, und sagt 4. Ach. Ja, gute Nacht, Selke. Bis morgen. Okay, nachdem wir sind wir mal fertig mit dem deutschen Gelaber. Alright, do we do it, guys? I think I do it. It's gonna like extract the Akela on the other set. I think it's the way. And we have 220 blood shards, let's try. Ja, Deutsch ist over, ich weiß. Got another Pinto, unlucky. Guys, calm down and speak English again. Okay, I'm just doing like. Let's just open like Thomas 6 or something. It's not all from chat that are German. The chat is roughly like 20% German. So this is not enough, guys. I know the stats. Yeah, killer. Yeah, let's take that one, I guess. So let's drop this here. So we cube this. We have no bunny mass left. 
We cup this. And we start blasting, I suppose. We don't need this. So like run roll or so. Actually has Tempest Watch damage, look at that. Yeah, I think something like that is probably fine. Woohoo! Okay, let's see how this goes. We don't have... S oh, we don't have a need for Second Strike, actually. We don't have Uncle now, but we also don't have the Bracer, so... Let's see if we can actually kill stuff. Maybe it's actually too weak. It might be too weak oh, for turn 6. Let's do Annihilation. Let's do this. We need Sleeping in, right? Should we do Desert Shroud anyway? And what do we do here? Should we do Earth Ally anyway? Nah, it doesn't do any damage anymore now. Serenity, just for like toughness. Let's see if we kill stuff. I didn't keep that killer. Oh, actually, yeah. just kills everything. One six seems to work. Did I put the movement speed? No. Okay, this is fine. Let's count the bees again. How many do we have? Like fifteen now, maybe. Okay, I think it's absolutely the play. And now we do the bounty, so we can get some DBs there and to keep our Daibo. Once we have the Daibo, we are in a good spot. 17. This is about the buff. Oh yeah, true. I mean, the buff is almost irrelevant. It's fine. Buff is like one and a half tiers or so. But yeah, it would be slightly stronger. So we can add like a bit of dex maybe, like this. Yeah, this is nice though. We can do Torment 6 right away without anything. At least. We can probably go higher. Stuff is like really dying fast. Yeah, so I think that was a good decision. Okay, we have uh, 19. So I get 25 in this run. I also don't have to loot every single ghetto anymore. Don't need Epiphany, I think. Wait, why did I get only one DB from this one pack? I have 22. For some reason this one pack dropped only one. Because my Templar was out of range or something. No, the pack dropped two and then we got one extra, I suppose. No, it should be doubled, right? Pack 24. I have not pressed Epiphany a single time, so that's pretty useless. We can do more speed, I guess. Cool. Okay, 26, we have one Daibo upgrade. This almost feels like a real T16 build, just missing 10 torments. One key. We're not gonna do it though. Now we want to farm DBs as much as possible. Okay, let's stay on Torment. Actually, can we do Torment 8? I'm gonna try. Let's start Torment 8. Torment 8, we get the next increment, right? How about the cash materials? Uh, Torment 7, actually. Okay, it's so Torment 7, you get 8 materials. That should be okay. 
can take Cyclone. Hey, there's no reason to have Cyclone though. We don't proc it and we don't need it because we don't have the Bracer and we don't have one canal. So this is useless. What we do is Breath of Heaven, Saphir. We also don't need this, so we can do Momentum, I guess. And we can do... Ha! <laughs> Here comes the strat. Alright. Let's try a boss. I have a plan. Yeah, yeah, ST7 is also easy peasy. Fucking dying. Oh! I messed it up. Actually, I wonder if, like, wait, I wonder if, like, the entire time, it should actually be the entire time slash that's, like, buffed now. But, yeah. For this. Okay, we have, like, more than enough damage. Okay. I wanted to do, uh, Flurry as well. T10 works. Do we get more on T10? T10 is 10 materials. That's fine, those two materials won't really make much of a difference. On a distant planet, somewhere in the cosmos, Ooh. we exist in cyberspace. We've been transported to the future. We're dealing with forces beyond our control. Mind of 10% attack speeds. They want move speed, man. They don't need the attack speed. But yeah, Torment 7, Torment 8, Torment 9 even. Probably quite doable, everything just dies here. But I'm, you know, I don't even have to do a Flurry Explosion, for example. I lost track again, but I think I have like a upgrade rare now. Do a Dibo after this. Yeah, it's too low. We don't need this stuff. Can the fleet put it? It doesn't really work down right. But now we don't have that much move speed. Well, actually, we do have the move speed now, and like neither the passive nor the boots stack with like this here. So we actually do not have to season beam right now for the move speed. Ah, unlucky. Got an inner Daibo. That's also unlucky. Would be nice if I had the coolest boots though. There's no boss. There you go, Sophia again. Swan is also useless. Something else I can put there. He's like, if you don't need the defensive skills, there's like nothing to put really on this build. It's just like Tempest Rush and go. That's it. I guess later we're gonna put uh, Cyclone once we have the Bracer. One button built, indeed. Cyclone progressive one canal, yes, but the bracer requires a cyclone. Oh, here we could have done uh, Flurry to watch them. Guys, she meets the man.
and for the base. Maybe I actually want to do two one-handers later. Save this Neanderthal. Finish this. See how long we need for all the acts. Six. I have done GR20 already, what do you mean? <laughs> we have the full set equipped. Now it's just a matter of time until we get the die bow. And once we have that, we are chilling. Why not T10? Well, I still uh, have to remember this is still hardcore rules. So, Torment 10 would be too slow. Like, the bosses on bounties are very tanky, guys. Don't underestimate the bosses. They're very tanky. You don't want to, like, waste your time, like, fighting these bosses for, like, minutes just to get, like, two more bounty mats. Let's go put determination now. We also do blind, I guess, and relentless assault. So it's a Saphir. the white items. This year 20 was actually super fast, it was like 3 minutes or so. It's like a level 7 LOD and a Pinto. Second bounty round of the season, man. Not even 3 hours in, what is actually going on? I definitely don't want to do like T10, but maybe Ace or so. This cave, then we got this done. Can we do left click? No. Can we do this left click? I guess. Wait. Wrong. Okay, that's 10. Definitely kill the elites here. Yeah. On those TBs. Oof. Okay. So we can hold right click. Don't have to hold the shift left click all the time. All day gifts continue until the end of season? Maybe. Or maybe they continue forever. Who knows? I need to test if you can actually like snapshot this uh, mythic rhythm for the entire like channel. It should work because this is usually how you play cold. You get the explosion with 40% extra damage from mythic rhythm. Could be maybe interesting for like speed farming even. It's just like set it up once on the start of the level and then just like keep holding the button. You have mythic rhythm the entire time. Okay, that's like five done. I mean, if you keep holding it for season start, it would be crazy, actually. Fourteen, sixteen. 
Anyone working on the wizard guides? Yeah, Chewie is doing those. As far as I know, he has them all ready to press the button. I don't think he hasn't published it yet. It's very like, you know, biting by the rules kind of guy. Season's not over, so we still have season 27 guys. Ooh, another Black Oblin, let's go. Now we should have to brace her. 460 shards, you're already getting like 400. It's an ODB, something over 20. So after this act, we're gonna do. What do you mean after this bounty? We're gonna do another round of Daibo. We are at two Daibos so far. The average is eight. Let's get this thing. Twenty-four. Okay, let's find us go to town and try. What he forgets. Have one more here? No, I have to craft one. Ooh, we got it. Yo, actually, I can just equip it right now. We don't need to cube it. <laughs> if I don't go now. Alright, we are on the lucky side again, the third one. Well, now everything is gonna make Omega get one shot. It's actually, yeah, this is actually unconditional damage buff. So, I guess we can do GS70 with this. Relatively comfortable without one coming out. We can try, but I need the bracer. Count the bees again too. I need to 70 without Bracer. I mean, people were talking about Tom and 10. Tom and 10 is like, what? GR45. That's quite far away, to be fair. And this item buffs me by. Yeah. 10, not even 10 tiers, actually. I think I want to do the bracer. The bracer are, brace are very easy to get. At this point, I'm basically guaranteed to get them like any minute from now. With like the blood shots I get. You just run a few rifts until you have it, and that's it. The average cost is 750, I guess. It's nothing. But bracer. But we don't need the one coming out. We're gonna do it with bracer and balance, and that's it. I'm literally gonna wear the balance. I don't even have to finish this bounty run if I want. But I'm gonna finish it now. <laughs> So yeah, I think we are kind of done here already. Just need to lock and get the bracer, but we're gonna finish this bounty run. Because that's what he would do. What's faster start? The age or wizard? Uh, the age is faster, but wizard uh, passes them eventually. Wizard is slow to start, but like way stronger than Demon Hunter. Okay, that's Act 2 done. So I need like 4 bounties, 4 bounties, 5 bounties. Oof. Yo, should we just try it? It's not really much of a reason to stay in this game. You can just try it. Okay, let's see. Let's go to level 1. You only have like two boss bunnies done, right? So. Doesn't matter much. Ah, 
how big's the chance the season's gonna start on 24th? Uh, yes. Dude, I got Gangdo Gear. F. Well, back to the bounties. So it was Act 1, Act 4, Act 3. But I do it on like T10 now, I guess. It should be like super comfy. It's 2011. Again, mate, did we do act one earlier? Let's see this. Okay, this is actually too slow, so let's do this on T10. Ooh, 40 bees now, and gold. 10 million. Can I power like half a rift actually? How much longer am I going to stream? Not too much. I'm gonna finish this run and I don't know what, and then we're done for the night. Should be at something like 15 plus dBs again. It's kind of nice actually, like while we're doing these bounties, you actually get a bunch of dBs, so you have a good chance to get the one coming out. It's actually pretty nice, yeah, with this build. Because it just deals so much damage while moving. Just kill the packs. Imagine if this like Tempest Rush build would actually be a build where you wear a Daibo like this. Why didn't they make it so? Makes so much more sense in my opinion. Okay, I think we are ready for one come now upgrade, which well frankly we wouldn't wear right now. But let's try it real quick. Six first. The one come down in the cube. I mean, if you finish all the bounties, uh, yeah, we don't have to put the one come down in the cube. At that point, we just put the balance in the cube. Then we, you know, maybe get the Nikon Fury later or an Ingeom or something, you know. We definitely want to wear the one come down. Do wield is stronger. My roll and my balance is not exactly impressive. Yeah, attack speed. Yeah, that's true. That also like synergizes. Yeah, I mean, it basically goes into it as like dual build is stronger. It's just like stronger, you know, even without the second weapon doing anything. So. Okay, we have almost this act done, and then it's. Like, what is it? Act 3 and Act 1. Was it Act 1, guys? Yeah, I think I killed the boss there, but didn't finish Act 1, right? So maybe get a rock even. Let's go. Tom and 10. It's actually not too unlikely. Okay, I'm gonna stop counting the individual DBs, so he's gonna go by like gut feeling. Chazzy, what's up?
making burgers. Oh damn. Now I want burgers. I swap the weapon. And dual wields. Wanna KDPS. Yeah, here you don't look at anything. You're definitely not gonna kill the bosses, man. Look at this. Like, these bosses are kind of dying in an acceptable time. You have a really strong weapon here. So, this is already almost too slow, guys. Should definitely not go slower than this. Let's see, Act 4 guys is gonna give me rock. Watch out. Okay, where, where do I get burgers now? Quickly. What do we do about this? Dude, 89. There's a few more. 97. Amazing. Okay. We can actually do two upgrades, I think. Let's see. No. Double no. But one of them would might be like an offhand that I might want to wear. I guess the paddle can go now. Let's see what I get from this. Crusader shields. Oof. Okay, I suppose we finish. I mean, we get way more blood shards in rifts, I guess. Get the bracer. It's gonna do these two acts now. It's gonna be like 10 minutes. And then GR 70 time basically. Right now, doing a Tom and Fishing Rift wouldn't be very comfortable. How many fist weapons are there? Quite a bunch, I believe. <laughs> Green Bracer. Oh, actually, that's an upgrade. At least, like, stats. That's cold damage. Oh well. Oh, exactly, my stunning is something. I'm probably Haunt of Vexa from something. Don't have stun on this. We actually have stun on the, on the weapon, man. 1.6. Eighty days. Gotta do the entire season plus until day four. No eat. Good luck. This is no cash. Ooh. 
Let's get this one that's already spread out and very tanky. Is there one of these worms in this cave? I believe so. And a 41% XP. Uh, the double dip is correct, but not quite. So the double dip is on the Greater Rift turn-in. The Greater Rift turn-in is roughly half the total XP of a Greater Rift. So that's where that comes from. F. Go for efficiency and only playing one character on hardcore next season. Uh, that would probably be wizard. Don't die to exclamation mark Karini. I said this barrier run is slower than I would like it to be though. We still have to do Act 3, right? I think I should do this if it's ready. That seems like it's four seconds. Now maybe gonna try. I mean technically I think it would be the, the better strat if you just want to reach primals, to just like do rifts. You get more DBs and more blood shards and just like have a chance for one come now. Which you don't need. I'll just get the bracers and then go to your to your seventy. Because here we barely get blood shards, so we can kind of gamble. At least we'll finish this bounty run. It's just like the right way to do it, I guess, in this season. We got the ring, apparently. Let's put it here and oh. I'm not sure if I actually saved anything that I would like to equip now. Not sure what I would want to wear. Yeah, well, actually, you could do a Guardian set. Cube the Bracer, wear Mantle. That would be pretty good. Before, like, we don't really need the Crimson that much. I think it might actually be quite, quite nice early on. the barracks again second time in the last few hours yeah guardian would definitely need a player but and i mean wait i actually have a really high chance of having guardian at this point right because we've done two full bounty runs we should have like almost all the recipes so i think it's actually realistic just craft like one round of guardian we do bracer and belt and we still have like an extra slot with the rock that we, we can put like anything. And we stick the... Um, we stick the bracer in the cube. He's a club. We don't have to wait a little little item.
Oh, we're gonna do like GR90 or something. By hour 4. Or hour 5, I guess. Oh man, I think I went the wrong way. Should have seen this coming. Let's just keep going here. Obsidian and cube. Yeah, I mean, it's just Epiphany and Serenity. We could just wear an Aquila with Guardia and we're, we're fine. I actually had a second Aquila. I found two Aquilas. But I think I left it on the ground. So I might just take one from Stash. The primal Aquila earlier, if I remember. We can also probably do like another two upgrades now to the bees. Yeah, I left it next to the cube. I, there's one I cubed basically that I left there, and then there's another one, the primal one. Do you have it in stash? Let's see. Green helm. You can do the set helm sacrifice. You get the shields. On health globe pickup. I should check this side first, actually. I mean, Epiphany is 50 some damage reduction. That we have like a bit more up now with Zodiac. First of all, you don't have a Zodiac. That's not that crazy. Right now, many like speed farming. We don't have squirts. Like, nothing. We don't even have the 15, what? They're all here, they're actually all in this room. Wow. We have three more. This spider was quite long though. It was still like half an hour plus or something, right? It's like over a minute per bounty. Yeah, it's definitely quite slow. Definitely I have to make the inner raiment very soon. Like even as a necro, I'm gonna just... Oh. Yeah, I'll probably make like an inner Raymond monk on day one to make sure I get these bunnies done fast. So this is gonna be awful. I think it's pretty chill farming though with the spills. Kind like a bit more speed. For example, from the season theme, from Crown or something. What we need. Beating the wizard time? Oh, yeah, easily. I mean, to be fair, the wizard was really unlucky. But yeah, I mean, Monk is just like nice of PJ. Like, I would have almost beaten the Demon Hunter if I had gone for it. If I had just done more rifts instead of the bounties now. After, like, when I found this balance, which, well, I found doing the bounties, right? But yeah, imagine if I had done a few rifts and found this balance, I would have easily have the blood shots to gamble the bracer, and we should be uh, faster than the age, actually. It's 270. Yeah, the, the Diablo crafting was relatively lucky. But the bracer was unlucky so far. Aside from this, the run feels pretty average.
Okay, the rock is kind of lucky, but we don't really require that, I guess. For now. Open cash, start above 18, easy life. <laughs> That's not how it works. That's a good question, I wish. Uh, the answer is actually hardly yes. But I just got used to like pressing free for bold, etc. All the bounties. Can probably do like another one or two of fist weapons as well. What we got here. Nope. Nope. I will sacrifice this one here. Okay, I have 220 blood shards. Let's try again, I guess. Where's the Aquila? Yeah, we dropped it on the ground. He had a second Aquila, which I do not have anymore. So we would have kept that. Also, fist sevens are quite high. I don't have to do beats for it now. But yeah, once I have one canal and a bracer, it's just gonna be like easy peasy, like way beyond 70, I think. Just need to get a toughness. Yeah, we're already like going past primal only, I think. Alright, let's do like a T. 11 rift or so. Still no bracer. 75 is a conquest. Yeah. Dude, I'm not opening cash. There is like, you know, conquests do not exist, guys. By the time that you're there, there's already 1,000 people on the conquest leaderboard. Let's try T11. Uh, also the Guardian set. We just craft exactly one piece. And the belt. This is lighting damage. This is pretty trash. And the Dexter and show us the vitality. I probably wanna go What's the diamond? No, diamond is too good, I guess. Without gems. So what now? About this Aquila? Let's just try if we can actually survive this melt. Okay, this is a bit slow here, but okay. Now we're actually weaker than we should be, because I didn't add more Paragons. Fourteen Fist Weapons. Uh, we have crafted like six or seven now, I believe. So we're halfway. And every run we do now is like two crafts, roughly, or so. So yeah, so it will go really fast at this point. Just like a few Nephilim Rifts and you have a one come now. And Bracer, and yeah. I mean, at this point we basically set up. Alright, get a level 70 weapon. Do a T1 
Act 2, Barney Run. This gives you one death breath for the Blacksmith. Shoulder. That's not a mental of channeling. What's my tufts actually? I have a shield pan, so I have no clue. Season's ending in four days. Yeah, you can make level 70 gear for every slot, pretty much. Just don't reroll it. Just craft it and drop it. Okay, I'm not sure if we get enough DBs for like two full upgrades in a run, but one and a half upgrades per run. And Torment 11. Sounds about right. Four or five items per cash? Uh, maybe it's seven, eight when you do the conversion. If you have the cube, you can also convert like white to yellow materials and then you can do uh, the full craft. But either way, even with five items, you know, the weapon, a few other items, they have like so many stats, they have like 3k stats or something. And then the rest you just craft on the way. It's fine. I got 15 to 17 items on my cash. Yeah, with conversion, I guess. So you convert like white and blue ones to yellow, I guess. And then just craft everything, I guess. Got a Doombringer. Easiest class for soul, self, and hardcore. Huh? Well, that's usually the age. You got the bracelet, you got it twice actually. <laughs> Alright, so this goes into the cube now. Yeah, this was overdue actually. Bracelet was definitely overdue. So we go up like. Let's do this tone 15 rift. Actually, we've had the one come down and see. There's no updates to the Seda and Witch Doctor yet. And we survived this. Well, it depends which item you're trying to gamble. That's very important. Oh wait, I need uh, need some skill that actually <laughs> applies the bracer bonus, I guess. So we move the mantra. Maybe we move the fear. Do like an implosion, I guess. Or do the wall of wind for the freeze? That might actually be more helpful. Just to like survive better. How long does this thing last? Did I cube it? Didn't. Oof. Five seconds. All right. Yeah, this is not very smooth. I gotta say. So you don't have toughness now. 
So I don't think anyone else is casually walk in there. Does this do anything actually on Tom 15? No. Tom Prime does nothing. Dude, I cannot get my resources up at all. I can't even start Tempest Rushing. I have no clue if I'm actually killing him or not. We do this, we do this. Yeah, damage is not good enough. You kill the minions a bit and stuff, but yeah. You could do the T15 if you have some toughness, but you don't have the toughness at all. So this doesn't work, I think. You do something like T13, I guess. Just like time to switch around, press this button. Uh, cyclone. But the thing is that with the cyclone stack, it's also too delayed. See this? If that was the bracer now, that would be funny. Yeah, it's like a way slower run now because of, I always have to do the second strike first. And I'm actually running out of resources like this. So I have to use the resource rune on Cyclone Strike to do this. Then we don't freeze them anymore, which is also another issue. Those crown. Oh, I bugged out. <laughs> nice. Yeah, dodge dash is something I was considering. Definitely have to do this like way more tanky now. So let's change the mantra, let's change the dash. And let's change the rune on the cyclone. Larry is gradually lower geared. Yeah, but you also have to interrupt all the time for the cyclone, so I think that's great. This is like basically a third extra. I can try it, sure. Agility, let's do blinding speed. Also, you have light damage here, yeah, so. Now, we cannot take damage while not in combat because we can't get. I guess you can do a blind. What's a blind cooldown? It's a great long, I guess. 15 seconds. Yeah, if you don't have blind, you cannot blind before the explosion, so you have second strike, guys. What do you want to stack? I think this is going to be pretty awful. Yeah. No. Like, we don't even get the flurry damage if they're not already cycling anyway. So you can only stack a maximum of 5 seconds, guys. It's going to be lightning. I have to brace her. But for the brace, I need a second strike. Oh wait, actually we have to we have to cold. We actually need to do the cold second strike, right? Yeah, okay, we cannot do this. We have to do the cold one. For the brace, uh, else it doesn't work. I mean, they die fast, but they're certainly like it's significantly slower than before. So I think maybe the strat will be just gonna like stay on like T11 or T12 or so, just like rush through like this. And then maybe on the elites, uh, do something so we can keep the, the, the fast, you know, buffs. Rush through the trash and then kill the elites. And the boss super fast. 
I'd say have one come now and then you're chilling. Actually freezing. Monk now should happen any moment now. Could be an upgrade. Just play with blinds. Yeah, I mean, don't fight elites that often, I guess. So I can do a blind every 10 seconds. Maybe this is actually fine as well, yeah. But if we don't hit everything from the pack, then yeah, it's gonna be yikes. We can try it all. But I keep left clicking on random stuff now. Oof. Gotta be careful when looting. Scoundrel token. Don't need a cyclone, why not? And a good thing is that even without the blind, I can actually kill these guys. So I think I really want to wait for one canal. See the boss without blind. It's okay, with blind it will just like instantly die. Oh wait! My stun wait it works! The stun from the weapon, I think, actually procced. Wait, it works with the, with the stun, right? Blind freeze or stun, dude, that's insane. If you end the Zay 75, you could actually just slot in the Zays, man. What do you mean? After you hit them, yeah, for five seconds after you hit them with blind, freeze, or stun. Like, what, what do you mean? I don't need the, the blind. I don't need the cycler. I need I need something, guys. Else, it doesn't work. Uh, Time Rush is kind of shooting out twisters through sweeping wind. Yes. I think I can do it free at this point. I haven't been done any in a while. Another Kiyoshiro. A vengeful wind. Crystal Fist, now that's actually something. Put a balance. What is the other weapon? Just random one, so let's just do this, I guess, for extra speed. More speed! Yes. I definitely need the world soccer at this point, let's do that. We have some toughness. Oh, we don't have to roll this. 1 million DPS! Let's go higher. Let's do 13 now. Ah, maybe 12. There's another reason why Cruise Cruise would have been good. You get SCC for free. Hmm. Yeah, true. It would be helpful to have the Mystic Allies right now.
would also protect you pretty well. Uh, maybe missing allies are actually balanced enough. So we would gamble them first before getting the Bracer. And just keep going with LD. We're fast now, let's go, 13 stacks. Green fist weapon. Oof. We've run resources. I think instead of a uh, diamond, I should go with a uh, topaz in my helm. Man, I need resources. I just don't have it. I'm running out of resources, dude. With a speed pile. Look at this. The timer is from when you created this character. Technically, the necro, I guess. don't have the date for the season start, but it might be next week. Kind of Crucible again. I wonder if the Crucible actually steals a regular legendary drop. Or is it extra? I don't remember. I think we tested that, but I don't remember. Should we aim for stun on weapon? I actually had the... What was that thing called? The Sledge Fist earlier? Yeah, that would actually be legit. Like, if you don't have Cruise Boots or Bunker come now, like, Sledge Fist is actually a good item, man. I should have won that one. And they would, like, instantly proc the Bracer all the time. I think they will nerf something. Uh, doubtful. I think they're not in the mood for nerfing. Power shelling. Let's go. Okay, definitely something to remember, guys. If you get the Sledge Fist, good item. No joke. It's basically a scuff one coming out, if you will. And it gives you an extra skill slot. Yeah, it's T14 Rift Garden, it just dies. Yeah, once I have to come on now, you're like ready for the 16. I just need to get a gold wrap. I actually have a gold wrap that I could cube. Or I just wear, I guess, without the Guardian set. Um, let's do Mantlock Channeling. Yep. Earthling Crusader. The Crusader is probably like top or almost top uh, XP farmer actually for solo. Uh, well, one come now, right? Still missing. Let's just craft a few more fist weapons at that point. We do two per rift now, I guess. 50 dBs per rift is very consistent at this level. Here, yeah, Sledge Fist. Should we do it? Instead of the crystal? No. Who cares? I've done Wizard uh, yesterday. Any socket? No, it's not 50% stun, this is a scuff roll. But okay. Let's see how it feels. It'll be an interesting test.
I guess if it was too squishy, I could switch back to the defensive mantra, etc. Guardian's Path is something you can use at this point as well. So I get a bunch of toughness there. I mean, realistically, this seems fine. I'll probably just run cheat deaths, and that's okay. I'm hardcore. Stuff dies so fast that most doesn't actually do anything. Okay, this is like... Okay, this guy's a jug. But it should work anyway. That's, yeah. Yeah, this was no blind. I think this is actually not bad, a slash fist. If you get one, save it, guys. It's not like super consistent. But if there's like another pack or whatever next to it. Yeah, no more blind ready now. Let's just like second around. Could epiphany now. Uh, I guess you could, but at this point, I guess we prioritize the damage over everything. Just go fast. Like this is a fast set. You can definitely, you know, use it. There's no need for toughness really. Anything that doesn't die instantly, just like press serenity. This. You also have to blind that protects you. Might be a better protection than Epiphany in some cases. Because even with Epiphany, I would be like very tanky. I wonder if I can see the difference here now between these guys. Okay, I'm not gonna blind on the boss, let's see. Now you stunned and boom. Works. Okay, it's time for Wonkam now. We are. Is this alone better than God? Oof. They're gonna be pretty comparable in the end, I'm not sure. But now, God it doesn't really need much. Here's Wonkam now. Okay, we got it. So that's just straight up Guru T16, I guess. Actually, we do Crystal Fist for the deafness. Yeah, the one coming now is like around average on the time, I guess. We yeah, upgraded quite a bunch of fist weapons. Yeah, let's do a T16. We can even go higher than 70 at this point. But yeah, it's four hours. We're we'll ready. I'm on a socket, man. We don't need this uh, splash just anymore, I guess. That was a short adventure. We tried for exactly one rift. Conclusion, it kind of works. It's the Wall of Wind. A new game. Yeah, I'm gonna try the highest I can open, which would be a 78, right? If we clear T16 rift. If boots first, we might have saved 30 minutes. How? Wait, where? <laughs> where would we say 30 minutes? In the earliest I would have gotten the boots would be like one and a half hours in or something, or two hours in after the bounty run. If I gotten lucky. So where would you have saved all this time? Let's do Guardian's Path at least for some toughness. Okay, it's like not super cozy, but it works. Oof. Need souls for Altar. Yeah, you need souls for Altar, but this is like this is like the least of the concerns. Souls for the Altar. Especially like one hour of grinding once you are like two hours of grinding, maybe later. I don't know exactly what other requirements. I think there's like one for like 250 souls. There's like one for 300. Like this is like whatever. Yo, this feels smooth now.
And my luck was relatively good on Daiwo, but everything else was pretty average, I'd say. And if he gotten something like the one came now earlier, or the Bracer earlier, he could have also tried to make something work without the balance until we get more DBs. It's not hard to get the balance, so. I yeah, definitely want to run a cheat dev at this point here because it's very squishy. I do have a gold wrap. I guess we're not getting enough gold to actually keep up gold wrap here. Like nothing drops gold here. The wrap would have to hold her. But sometimes at least it would be like invincible and just like rush around. Now you also get so many DBs here that as long as you have materials, as long as you pick up those white items everywhere, you can like, you know, craft anything you want at this point. Now you could gamble Aquila or Mantle or whatever. Probably start like upgrading rings or so, maybe get like a Union D or two. <laughs> They're probably frozen. None of one can now. How big of a nerf is it for Lon with Light losing Sanctified Power? Uh, pretty big, but it will still do 150 easily because it's balanced. Especially because with, uh, with actually Lon next season with Empowered Shrine Fishing, you don't need Unity or uh, Zodiac anymore, you can actually play Lon and get an extra gem. And then with high enough Paragon, you don't even need Stricken anymore, so you go like Trap, Zayce, Empower, uh, Enforcer. And yeah, you are you're destroying on a 50 anyway. So that's gonna be pretty funny to see on the high end. Okay, let's just do like, what can we open? Let's do Agility at least, I guess. I can actually relentless assault, why not? Seventy-eight is like what I could open now, right? So we just do an eighty. I'm just gonna try an eighty. Super smooth on the yellows. I guess you want to do flurry for this. If you want to go a bit higher than this, so the kill stuff. But yeah, I mean, you want to do it fast, right? So you want to farm. Okay, so that's four hours, and we are further than we were with the DH, I guess. But yeah, I mean, the DH would have been the furthest so far. But then it falls behind, slowly. On the Monk, not so much, but on the Wizard, for example, for sure, after like, you know, maybe 10 hours in a season or so, I think the DH and the Wizard would be kind of equal. And then from there, it just goes like downhill for Demon Hunter, compared to the Wiz. What I'm going for now? Nah, I think this one is done. I don't know. You can do a 90 if you want. I mean, I'm, I don't want to unlock the tiers now one by one. We would have to do like, you know, 78 and then 81, 84, 87, 90. It's still be like five runs. But you can just see if we're like able to do it with Flurry. Would be, would be interesting. We have very low toughness though. Realistically, you want to kind of farm at this pace. Maybe even go to 75. Just do like really fast runs, you know, two minutes where you're like chilling, where everything just dies and you're not dying. Like these runs are too slow, they're like slightly too slow. 
Also my Templar is dead, I just realized. I was relying on my Templar. <laughs> he doesn't have toughness either, so... I think it's gonna end this run here, it's fine. He definitely learned a lot of things though. I'm running out of resources. Too much attack speed. Alright. Four hours. Um, yeah, there's nothing we need to upgrade him. Tier 90 is a good end. Should we do 90? I'm mean, gonna go try 90, okay. But it's like off, off the record, I guess. Dude, here's a guy. I can't. Okay. I don't have resources for saving wings, so I can't kill this guy. How much power grind I would have had? Yeah, true. It would be a bit better. Now we would probably like have like 200, 300 paragons or whatever. We would have the extra 25% movement speed. Uh, we would be slightly stronger because I didn't add enough for the buff of the season with the POJ set, so we can actually do something like this. Um, uh, probably more like this. Now, yeah, I mean, I can't get the speed now, I can't get the shield globes that I would have now. Maybe even the next sacrifice. We can try a flurry GR90 run and see what happens. We have to be very careful here, I assume, so... Also, you'll probably have some gems, like... I've already done like 5-6 GRs, so you probably have like a trapped level 0. Uh, we would have like, actually, yeah, not a powerful, but yeah, but maybe have a trap or something, or take up level zero at least for like a bit of a buff. So there's like some other things. Okay, let's see. Can we do this? Yeah, 90 is gonna be tough. Like, I'm just not gonna survive this, I believe. You have the dashing strike fist though, which does not really synergize well with what I'm doing here. I gotta say. We are killing this guy, but it's scary. Now using lighting on a bracer because we crafted one guardian bracer. We could craft another one or two if you wanted. Get a cold one. But it's only like a one tier upgrade or so, it's okay. Okay, Templar was alive, we have one minute corny. Boom. Okay, boom, you saw that? Boom. Oh, I'm dying. Don't want to die with a corny up. Oh, found a solution. Templar was still alive, barely. Boom again. What are these guys? Okay. I mean, if you want to be more safe, you can probably. Okay, I mean, we have the weapon right now, the Crystal Fist, but if you didn't have that, you don't really need Dash. So you could do Epiphany instead, and then whenever Serenity is down, you're finding a pack, you can just like, yeah, go around there and not really worry with Epiphany. Yeah, this is still like a sub 5 minute run or so for 90. Very nice. And as I said, we would have to do like a few more runs. So let's say it's like a four and a half hours, GR90, roughly. We just need to do like, you know, unlocking tiers. And you probably want to play it a bit more safe than I. Because I want to do this on hardcore.
Very fierce of thunder. And the power. Templar was alive again, man. Templar is alive for every pylon. I'm not sure how he does it. Yeah, so now the next upgrades will definitely be something like Unity, Zodiac, Squirts. Get some gems. Yeah, and once you do this for like another one, two hours or so, you're good to go. This is like blast 90s and you had the loot cap. And you just get like all your gear really fast. So, let's see. One shot with 20 stacks. Yes. There we go. It's not even four minutes. Have I died? Yeah, I've died a few times. I was testing like high difficulties and stuff. Uh, I don't think I've died in leveling in, in these kind of things, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, like when I was trying like higher torments and I wasn't really sure like how strong I was, I died a bit. I mean, it wouldn't be hard to not die because you're going really fast. So, you just take a cheat death here. I didn't have cheat death all this time, so we could have. You know, replace this with G-Dev and you've probably not died on anything. So I actually should have done that, it was actually kind of stupid. Should, should have taken this anyway, even on softcore. Because it's just a defensive passive anyway. The empowered shrine stars on the Season 28 build guides are depressing. <laughs> Well, this is what you get. I like you got a COE with a socket and double crit and we can't This is actually a really good COE. <laughs> All right, uh, here. So you slot in like you know, trapped or whatever you find. Yeah, we did one to a GR90 now in four hours. So we went a bit further because the build turned out like stronger once you had all the pieces. Which is also nice. Tier 9 is like the real goal, I guess, anyway. For getting uh, loot earlier. And now this run is done, guys. Nothing more to see here, I think. <laughs>